I didn't want to make a damn thing tonight. But I was hungry, and I had to eat. I can make anything I want. I just didn't know what. So I decided to go for this healthy, easy, delicious, and inexpensive noodle bowl. I wanted to start to use these silo noodles that I got. You know those rice noodles that you buy in the big packages of like eight? Super easy, gluten-free, and healthier. Yeah, I was just going for healthier. I wanted something healthy tonight. Again, I think I said I didn't want to cook, but here I am, cooking. This was easy. The only special tool I used was this mandolin to help me julienne the courgette, so they're like noodles, but you can use a knife. It'll just take a little bit longer. And hold on, I have these late night noodles. If you want super easy, then just use these, but I eat so much of them. Just check out wikikitchen.com for where they're sold. I'm just gonna pile all my mise en place on the cutting board, not the cutting board, but you know, that thing in front of me. The baking sheet. I'll just put load up all the veggies right on there. I have them all ready to go. It makes for quick work and it looks good, honestly. I like to make sure every stage of the process when I am cooking looks good and is easy to follow. So I just finish up julienne these courgette or zucchini for my US friends. Put those right on the thing. Always cleaning up after myself. Miss Frankie's watching along, enjoying herself. It's another opportunity for me to add some lettuce to this dish. I'm a big fan of using lettuce in warm dishes lately. Grilled lettuce is amazing, but I'm just gonna add this. I didn't have any baby spinach, so I'm gonna add the lettuce right to the noodles. I wanted it packed full of veg, so I know it's healthy. A little bit of ginger here, a few garlic cloves, quick smash and peel. Mince, chop, however you like them. There's no rules about how you want your ginger or garlic. You can leave it whole, you can leave it in slivers. I'm just happen to mincing both of these right now. I'm also gonna be adding some chickpeas to this and the water, so don't drain the can. Got a cup of orange. I actually don't have oranges. <laughs> I have clementines. I'm trying to be real here. A couple of clementines left over. Here's those silo noodles. Super inexpensive, gluten free. They usually come with a string around it. I did clip that beforehand and I'm like, oh, I better do this video. So two will be plenty. I'm thinking this will be enough for one. But as it turns out, this gave me two meals two courgette, one section of leek. A couple oranges for the juice and the flavor. Small head of lettuce. Two things of these silo noodles. Super easy. A little bit of black pepper. Oh, did I mention that there's no oil in here except for a touch of sesame oil for flavor, not for functionality, because sesame oil tastes delicious. And it goes a long way. A little goes a long way. So the easiest way I've found to cook these silo noodles is just drop them in a bowl and cover them with oil and water for about one minute and then strain them, and then I leave them on the side until I'm ready to add them to whatever dish I'm making. If you leave them in too long, they'll kind of disappear. So just don't leave them in the boiling water. And that's why I don't like adding them to a boiling pot of water on the stove, because they tend to disappear. They just will disintegrate. So soak them for a quick minute in the boiling water, strain it off, keep them on the side, and then I'm sauteing this, doing a quick stir fry. I could have just used the noodles in the, as the, I could have just used the courgette as the noodles, as you see. There's quite a few of them. So those two small courgettes, two zucchinis, they made quite a few noodles here. But I wanted that extra bulky. I didn't think it was going to be enough for me. So I wanted the extra noodles in there. So the silo noodles, and I had them. I think they've been sitting around for a long time. I'm a big fan of chili peppers, so I'm going to add one in the dish for the spice and I'll add one for a garnish. I even garnish it for myself. Whether I'm doing a video or not, I just like to garnish. Soy sauce, a little bit of light soy sauce, splash, splash of agave for that sweetness to counter all the salty twanginess. And then touch that sesame oil, add the noodles right in. All I did was bring this up to a heat. I didn't want to cook it for a ton of time. It literally took me 15 minutes to make this dish. Stir it all together, make sure it's all mixed well. Shut off the heat and then that's it. Grab your nicest bowl, which I have this nice one that I got for Christmas from a friend of mine. And I'm just bowling it up. I'm, I'm actually gonna add the whole pot right to this bowl. And it's huge. 
I had two meals out of this. I couldn't finish this whole thing. It was just, it was just too much. I honestly thought I would be able to finish it, but I couldn't. So I had the whole, whole nother helping. I could only eat about half this. I had the whole nother helping for breakfast. Nothing more perfect than having two meals out of one. So whether you're a single dude like me, or you just have cook it for two, or just double it if you're cooking for more, super easy recipe. And this was freaking delicious. Honestly, I'm gonna keep it on my rouster. Sat down with Miss Frankie, Miss America, the gorgeous girl that she is. She just likes watching me eat. I know she wants some, but she's not gonna have any of this. She just ate herself, and I'm gonna take her out for a walk. Anyways, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this quick weeknight meals. I'll work on some other projects, but I just want to share some of the quicker things that I make in the meantime. Have a great rest of the week. Take care of yourselves. Don't get up.